So cut question 4b. Draw the line, the straight lines, x plus y equals 10 and y is equal to x on the grid below. All right. <coughs> See what's going on here. x plus y is equal to 10. What you can do to get this line, first of all, it's a straight line, so you need only two points. But you could work out for three points and then you would see if you made a mistake. So, the line x plus y equals 10. What you could do is change it in a form that you might be more familiar with. Subtract x from both sides so you have y equal. And then you have 10 minus x. You can rewrite this as y is equal to negative x plus 10. So that is in the a form looking like y column x plus c. But you don't necessarily have to do that though. I just like doing it this way. Now, choose a point. When x is negative 10, what is y equal to? When x is negative 10, then y is negative x. You have negative, negative 10, plus 10. Negative, negative 10. Y is equal to, is going to be 10 plus 10, which is 20. All right, that won't work out. That's too far up. Let's try negative 5. When x is negative 5, y is equal to negative x. So negative, negative 5. Now that's also too far. Let's try 0. When x is 0, what is y? y is equal to negative 0 plus 10. But negative 0 is just the same as 0. 0 plus 10 is 10. So when x is 0, y is 10. Good. When x is 5, what is y? When x is 5, y is equal to negative 5 plus 10 because y is negative remember this is the far the, the equation we're looking at when x is 5 y is negative 5 plus 10 because it says negative x so it's negative 5 plus 10 so negative 5 plus 10 is what that's 5 so when x is 5 y is 5 which is right here Let's try what happened when x is 10. One more. When x is 10, y is equal to negative 10 plus 10. Negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So when x is 10, y is 0. So the other point is here. So we can see where our points are. There's a line going through here. All right. That's our line. Then y equal x is the other line. Remember, when you say y is equal to x, it means when y is 0, x is 0. When y is 5, x is 5. When y is 10, x is 10. When y is negative 5, x is negative 5. Whatever y is, x is the same. So I draw my line through these points. Oh, close enough. All right. All right, so we say draw the straight lines, x plus y equal 10 and y equal x on the grid below. What else did they say? On the same grid, shade the region which satisfies these four inequalities. The region which satisfies all these four inequalities. Let me just copy them from here and put them on our whiteboard right here. So we want all these inequalities here. X is greater than or equal to zero. When X is greater than or equal to zero, it means it's to the right of zero. So, so far, we can identify that. To the right of zero would be all of this, all right? X is greater than or equal to zero. So X greater than or equal to zero. 
y is greater than or equal to 0. All right. y is greater than or equal to 0 means above the x-axis. Right? All these numbers down here are less than or equal to 0. But from 0 upwards, it's greater than or equal to 0. So, I will shade up here. And this is saying y is greater than or equal to 0. After that, they say x plus y is less than 10. Remember, this is the x plus y line. x plus y is less than or equal to 10. All right. Now, when you have x plus y is less than or equal to 10. An example, 5 plus 5. Well, it's equal to 10. But here would be 2.5 and it's 2.5. 2.5 plus 2.5 is less than 10. Over here, when you say 10 plus 10 is actually greater than 10, it's 20. So you wouldn't shade over here. So you shade this side. Let me change the color. You would shade this side of this line of the x plus y line. So this is the side x plus y is less than or equal to 10. What about x is greater than or equal to y? Now this is the line x equal y. This is the x equal y line. Now what on what side is x greater than or equal to y? Let's see. Right at this point. Right at this point here. X is 10. No, X is 0. Y is 10. When X is 0 and Y is 10, X is less than Y. We want X greater than or equal to Y. Alright? So let's try this point. X is 0. When X is 0, Y is negative 5. 0 is greater than negative 5. So, seem as if it's over this side. Not this side up here of the X equal Y line, but on this side. Alright? If we even try right here. X is negative 5 and Y is negative 10. Negative 10 is less than negative 5. So X is, we want X greater than or equal to Y. Oh, X greater than or equal to Y. So let's do it again. At this point, on this side of the line, X is negative 5, Y is 0. When x is negative 5 and y is 0, x is below y. x should be above y, so it would have to be on this side. So, let's shade this side of the line, of this line, has to be on the lower side. So, what they said was to shade all of these inequalities. So this is x greater than or equal to y. All right. So shade the shade on the same grid. Shade the region and satisfy all the four inequalities. So let's see what's happening here now. The region that satisfies the four inequalities would have to be right in here right here is overlapped by everything so this side comes into it below this line comes into it to the right of the y-axis comes into it above the x-axis comes into it. 
So the region they're talking about is really here. All right. So this is a region that will satisfy all three inequalities, this triangle here. All right. So let's see what else they say is to be done about this question. Ah, total 11 marks. That shows that question 4 is done. And the next question will be question 5. So we'll look at question 5 at a later date.